Oh, hey, it's me, Eric, your teacher from school. You know, the internet can be a pretty fun place. Watch videos, play games, learn new things. Especially now since you're spending 24 hours a day at home. <laughs> you're probably on the internet right now. But did you know that the internet can also be a dangerous place if you're not careful? Did you know that over 50% of cyberbullying happens on the internet? And that number doubles every day. Did you know that two of three of those cyberbullies will become cyber criminals by the time they're adults? And that makes 0% of us safe. So what I want to do today is teach you how to be safe on the internet so that this dark future will become a thing of the past. Scenario number one. Oh look, someone just commented on my Instagram post. It's from Vivian. Let's see what it says. It says, you look like if a chimpanzee dressed up as a human for Halloween. Well, it's a pretty good roast, but it's mean. What should I do? Should I A, write something mean back. B, write something nice back. C, pretend it doesn't bother me and make another post about how I'm living my best life. D, unplug my computer. E, don't do anything. The correct answer is E, don't do anything. Cyberbullies just want you to respond. If you ignore them, that makes them feel not important. So just don't say anything. Scenario number two. Oh, I got an email. Let's see what it says. Oh, it says I won a talent search. All I have to do is click on the link, write down my information, and they'll send me my prize. But I don't remember entering a talent search. What should I do? Should I A, give them my info so I can get my prize? Should I B, call everyone I know and tell them I've just been discovered and I'm moving to Hollywood? C, Google the talent search? Or D, delete the email. The correct answer is D, delete the email. This is called a phishing scam. They want you to click on the link and then give them the, your information so that they can hack you and then they can steal all your parents' money and then call you and scam you on the phone to get more of your money. Don't do it. Phishing scam. <laughs> Scenario number three. Oh, I just got an instant message. Let's see what it says. I got a message from Pizza Lover 88 I don't know who that is. It says, I like your posts on social media. You are cool. Give me your address so we can hang out. Hmm. What should I do here? Should I A, tell him that- Nope, don't do anything. That's an online predator. How do I know it's an online predator? because it's a stranger who's asking for your information. Don't ever give your information to a stranger, okay? Tell your parents, tell the cops, report it to Google, unplug your computer, whatever you do, just do not respond, okay? And those are pretty much the basics. I guess the main takeaway is don't give your information out online. Don't respond to people you don't know. Don't bully people. And if people bully you, you should probably just ignore it. More scams, identity theft, people trying to bait you with viruses and stuff like that, hackers. You don't want that. Oh, hold on, I'm getting a phone call. Uh, hello? <laughs> viruses? No, 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 no. My computer has up-to-date virus protection programs. These are new viruses? that eat virus protection programs? Are you sure? And my computer has them. But you can take them away? Oh, okay, that's good. All I have to do is give you my banking information? Okay. And can you want to be paid in gift cards? Hmm. Wait a second. This feels like a scam. You know what? 
I think it is. No, no way.